But first breaking news, the Australian Network News is reporting five people, including a young boy, have died after an earthquake and tsunami hit the Solomon Islands. A magnitude 8 earthquake generated a tsunami of nearly five feet in the South Pacific Island chain. Late tonight, I spoke to Lauren Fisher of World Vision. She's been in contact with people on the islands. So we're beginning to get reports of the major areas. We're already hearing, for example, that the water has receded off the runway. We're getting reports about Sumatu that there is some severe damage there. But I think it will be some significant time before we see exactly what people are facing there from this earthquake. A National Weather Service geophysicist says the quake was shallow, making it more likely to cause damage.